I'm Chuck Saunders with Saunders Archery, and I want to introduce you to our newest string dampener, the Voodoo String Dampener. It is part of an evolution of dampeners. Our first dampener, which actually started the entire industry in relationship to the string dampener, was called the Deadly Quiet. It was a, an action piston that allowed the string to absorb some energy, but what we discovered in a high-speed video was that it had the same problem as other dampeners and that there's several spring backs that can happen so that it would strike the, the surface and the string would come back because of the oscillation of the limbs, come back and hit it again and again. What we decided to do is develop a dynamic dampener that's actually going to go out and capture the string. The principle is very simple. The piston here, when the static position is in and has captured the serving of the string, when you draw the string, it pulls this out and allows the, allows the string to disengage, but it leaves it in that, in that ready and loaded position to receive the string. When the strike comes in, the piston goes down, and the force of that compressing that piston into the receiver absorbs the shock, locks the two outer, uh, outer ears of the, of the piston onto the, onto the string, and prevents disengagement so that you only have one strike, no secondary, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eighth strikes that follow. In order to make this unit extremely versatile, we gave it um, a very advanced um, mounting system that allows you to adjust for the distance and the offset, and by positioning the units so that you can position them facing in, in different directions, you can reach forward or reach backward, you can use one unit or you can use a combination of units. It gives you all the flexibility. Along with the basic unit, you have a packet that has the VooLube uh, lubricant, which is a lubricant designed specifically for the Voodoo string dampener. VooLube is uh, the highest concentration of silicone and synthetic lubricants in a wax base that still holds it together so that it doesn't kick out and fall apart. It's still in a, in a wax base. The principle of what you're doing is trying to keep the, the piston at a, at a lubricated enough point so that it springs back by, its, by itself. This one comes this way. The spare piston will not have that material on it. In order to replace the piston or in, or, in order to lubricate the piston, you simply pull the unit and, and disengage the piston from, from the receiver. The lubrication process is one of just simply applying the lubricant on the outside of the, of the barrel and along the, the neck of the two ears. I like to lubricate the inside of the, of the, of the tube and the ears with a little dab inside there to, to make sure that it is fully lubricated. You see the action, how fast it is. The suspension, the, the mounting hardware for it is uh, all top notch. The Allen sets that are, uh, set screws that are in here are nylon tipped on the end. So there's very little marring of any of the components should you want to change uh, the uh, positioning of it and it is uh, very versatile so that you can just about mount it on, it on any application. We sell the unit in this format. It comes with its own, with its own Allen wrench, of course. On the card itself, you'll see that it's actually two cards, and it has, a, it has an installation instructions that, that talks about the maintenance of the unit and the basic positioning that you can position the, the Voodoo itself as far as the reach of the arms, the different types of offset that you can have. It's very simple, it's like playing with an erector set. You just play around with it until you get it into the position that's gonna work for your bow. There are a few bows that, are, that, that need different components. We have a Matthews. It doesn't use a 3 8 inch rod, it uses a smaller rod. So we have an adapter for that port so that you can, you can convert it over to be able to accept the, the uh, Voodoo unit. For that application, we also bundle it in a package so it would come with the rod on it. Basic position would be very similar to this. Unit would be reaching forward. It slides in on that. You would, you would lock it in on the, on the Matthews unit. What you basically do is rotate this until you, until you get the position aligned so that the, the, the string sits into that. 
you, you move it forward until the string is pushed into it and, full, and fully seated in the piston. Then you, then you lock the components to hold it in that position and that's all there is to the mounting. Another uh, popular application is where you want to go straight off of a back port on the riser. This rod has a Allen receiver on the uh, top side. It threads right into it and to the rear, rear side of a bow. And of course, again, it's a very simple and easy application. Finally, for some of the bows that don't have any of those options and, and you're just limited for what you can attach, we have the front riser option, which is basically a dog leg that goes around. It, it mounts into the front, it still has a port for your stabilizer up front, and then you, you attach back here on the other side of the bow, giving you a long reach around the riser section. And the last is replacement pistons. It's important to realize that uh, these pistons are made extremely soft, be extremely quiet, and they will wear if you shoot a lot. Um, they come in packs of three, and it's a very convenient way of uh, replacing the pistons. It's an easy snap out, snap in type of application. The Voodoo is a, is a new generation of, of, of string dampers. We went this way because it absorbs more energy out of the limbs, taking a lot of oscillations out of the bow, making your bow overall quieter. And, and by removing that excess energy, we're also removing the energy that can detune your bow, that can throw things out of whack. I think you're going to like it. I hope you'll give it a try. This is Chuck Saunders with Saunders Archery. Shoot safe, shoot well, shoot honorably.